Chapter fifty three of the Ontario Reader's Third Book by the Ontario Ministry of Education. Read for LibriVox.org. Chapter fifty three The Maple. All hail to the broad leaved maple, with her fair and changeful dress, a type of our youthful country, in its pride and loveliness. Whether in spring or summer, or in the dreary fall, mid nature's forest children, she's fairest of them all. Down sunny slopes and valleys her graceful form is seen, her wide umbrageous branches the sunburnt reapers screen. Mid the dark-browed firs and cedar her livelier colors shine, like the dawn of the brighter future on the settler's hut of pine. She crowns the pleasant hilltop, whispers on breezy downs, and casts refreshing shadows o'er the streets of our busy towns. She gladdens the aching eyeball, shelters the weary head, and scatters her crimson glories on the graves of the silent dead. When winter's frosts are yielding to the sun's returning sway, and merry groups are speeding to sugar woods away, the sweet and welling juices which form their welcome spoil tell of the teeming plenty which here waits honest toil. When sweet-toned spring, soft breathing, breaks nature's icy sleep, and the forest boughs are swaying like the green waves of the deep, in her fair and budding beauty, a fitting emblem she, of this our land of promise, of hope and liberty. And when her leaves, all crimson, droop silently and fall, like drops of life-bud welling from a warrior brave and tall, they tell how fast and freely would her children's blood be shed, ere the soil of our faith and freedom should echo a foeman's tread. Then hail to the broad-leafed maple, with her fair and changeful dress, a type of our youthful country in its pride and loveliness, whether in spring or summer, or in the dreary fall, mid nature's forest children, she's fairest of them all. H. F. Darnell End of section 53 This recording is in the public domain.